Hey y'all, it's me Boo again. Um, and I'm a big fat liar because I thought I was all done with my mainstream frags, but I found a couple hiding in the back of the cupboard that I want to go over. Um, the houses are pretty mainstream, but the fragrances are kind of a little less known in those houses. So um, I wanted to uh, go over them and make sure I let you know about them. Sorry, excuse me, I just got back from working out and had to take a shower before I did this. Maybe y'all can't smell me, but I can sure smell me, and it wasn't good. So, besides that, a couple times a month, I put Moroccan oil on my hair, and this is the time to do that. So, uh, I love doing these videos with all these fabulous aromas around me. So, oh, I love Moroccan oil. It makes my hair so soft and so hydrated. There's also a thing I do that if you guys express some interest, maybe I'll do a video on it, but... When I, uh, um, I don't go into pools very much, I feel like I'm swimming in biological sludge. It doesn't matter how much chlorine's in there. They kind of gross me out. Um, I feel like it's just one big UTI waiting to happen. Um, <clears throat> but if I do, if I get bribed into it, um, or when I go snorkeling, go into the ocean, I'll be doing it again when I go to Hawaii. I use this almond oil and vanilla essential oil uh, or essential, it's not an oil, it's just like an extract to give it some smell. <clears throat> and I have this, uh, this salad oil sprayer for, you know, making your own dressings and spraying it on your salads. And I put this concoction together in that and then I take it with me to Hawaii. And before I go snorkeling or out in the sun, I get my hair wet with fresh water. That's imperative. Um, that you get your hair wet with fresh water before you go into the salt water. And then when it's about like this, still damp, but not completely dry, I'll spray the, the almond oil and vanilla um, all over my hair. And then the, the salt water doesn't blanch my color out and doesn't dry my hair out. It makes it a lot easier to rinse the salt off afterwards too. But I won't go into that now. If y'all are interested, I'll... I'll talk about that some other time, but otherwise, let's just get right to it. Um, this is by L'Occitane, and this is called Eau de Beau. This is not a very expensive one, but it is fabulous. I just can't even, can't even believe I haven't been wearing it more often. I wore it a few times, um, like to work, uh, and this is something I would wear year-round to any event. I mean, it's a little tame for going out for me. But I think my husband would really like this one. It's kind of a vanilla woody scent. There's something else in there too. I can never put my finger on those kind of little subtle scents, but let me see what it says for you. Um, and some people say it smells similar to Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. On another planet in another universe, maybe there'd be a slight bit of similarities, but not too much. I don't smell a whole lot. Tobacco vanille is a confidence-getting scent. This is more of a comfort scent to me. In fact, this reminds me of something that if my dad was 30 years old today, he would wear. Um, and I don't want you to get the wrong impression of that. Um, my dad is definitely a, a Stetson and, you know, kind of a guy and, uh, oh, what was that other one? Blue, Blue Stratus. And, but <clears throat> he's a big guy. He's like 6'3", 250, old farm boy. But one thing I love about my dad is he's never been freaky about, like, wearing a pink shirt. He has lots of pink shirts. Um, and wearing vanilla colognes. No problem, even though he's almost eight, or he is 80. He just is so secure with himself and always has been that he just doesn't have a problem with things like that, which I really appreciate. And I can really see my dad wearing this if he was like 30. Oh, it's so nice. It's so unoffensive. And it's so, for me, every time I've worn it, I just feel such an inner peace and a, a calming. Tom Ford gives me power. Uh, tobacco vanille, vanille gives me power and confidence and makes me ready to kick ass, take names. Excuse my French, but oh, I guess that wasn't French. Um, but Eau de Beau is 
total antithesis of that as far as it makes me calm and mellow and makes me just say, you know, like in risky business, famous quote there, sometimes you just got to say, what the frack? And that's what this makes me feel like is I have a duck's back when I wear a fragrance like this. Not too much upsets me. So anyway, that's Eau de Beau by L'Occitane. Did I tell you what was in it? I don't think I told you what was in it. Here I go again. I don't know if I do. I don't think I told you what was in it. Okay. Uh, well, it doesn't tell me much, so I'm just going to go right to the pictures. It says incense, cypress, vanilla, tonka bean, and cardamom. And you smell all of those. It's not a complex fragrance. It's pretty linear. Um, my scent cloud is, you know, a good foot. Uh, it's not a skin scent for at least a first two or three hours. And then it does get kind of close. But it lasts quite a long time, especially on my clothes. Oh. I mean, just smelling it. It just, I feel myself just go. And so that's Eau de Beau by L'Occitane. Totally recommend for male or female. This is per ohm. But ladies, don't let that even, even worry you. It is not butch at all. In fact, I think it would take a very secure man to wear this, which my dad totally is. All right, the next one is a fun little fragrance, and it was really hard for me to get a hold of this particular bottle. Um, there was some other versions of it that were fairly easy to get a hold of, but not this one. And... Uh, let me show you. This is uh, La Petite Robe Noir by Guerlain. Let me see. I don't know which side to show you. One side has the words and one side has the dress. So there's that. I'll flip it for you. Cool little bottle. And it was the bottle in the notes that got me to get it. And one of the reviewers said that this was like... Um, Lolita Lampica's big sister. I disagree. I think it's more like her teenage sister um, or 20-something sister, but I love it. I do, but I do think Lolita Lampica is a little more dark. This is much more light-hearted of a, a licorice smell to me. Oh, it's really good. The dry down is really nice though. I think I actually like the dry down of this better than Lolita but I like the top notes of Lolita better. Um, this came out in February of 2009. There's a couple of different versions of this. There's a part two, and then there's another one that has a different dress than this one here. And I think that was, the, the was that the toilette, Eau de Toilette? And this is the Eau de Parfum? I don't know. It doesn't say which one's which. Anywho, um, Fruity opening of Sicilian lemon, almonds, and anise developed to a heart full of roses, raspberry, macaroons, and licorice. A base is pleasant and sweet. It consists of vanilla, patchouli, smoked tea, and musk. Um, see if anybody says it smells similar to anything. You know, a couple of reviewers mentioned Lolita, but then they didn't put it down here. Some people say it smells similar to La Petite Robe Noir. That's the other one. Let me see what this one says, if it's an eau de toilette because the dress is different. See, the dress on this one is kind of a moo moo dress. The dress on the other one is way cuter. Um, I guess, I guess I don't know, and I, I don't think I was supposed to know. I can't tell you. But all I do know is that this one, there's one with a cinched waist dress, and then the other one actually says Noir 2 on it. But the one with the cinched waist dress, um, I wasn't as interested in the notes as I was in this one. So this is La Petite Noir by Guerlain. But um, be careful if you ever look for this one, you got to be really careful because it says the same thing, but the dress is different and they're not the same fragrance if you look at the notes. So they're slightly different. Um, this is not a complicated fragrance either. This one, I probably won't wear a whole lot. I'm kind of out of a lot of the licorice scents. I was really into them for a while. I'm kind of into the ambers now. 
But, um, oh, the other thing people say it smells similar to, which I find funny as heck, is uh, Dolce Lisser by uh, Lair Bellario, which I also have. And no, it doesn't. It doesn't smell anything like that. That one actually smells like Ombre Narguila. And I'll talk about that later in another video in the future. But anyway, this is Guerlain's uh, Little Black Robe Noir, or La Petite Robe Noir. And, yep, that's about it. All right, so y'all have a good day. And I'll be back with a, another uh, little short little niche one. And then I'm going to start working on some samples. Um, because the rest of my niche, I think I'm going to put in atomizers and take with them uh, the few that I have left that I haven't done a review on and take them with me to Hawaii and just do them there. Um, because I planned on taking them anyway. Um, in the atomizer and so I might as well just do them there It'd be more fun so anyway y'all have a good day and peace